Ever wondered how Turkey became the great country it is today? The leadership of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk led Turkey into an age of modernization and his legacy lives on through the actions he carried out as the first president of the Republic of Turkey. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk was born on May 19, 1881 in Salonika, Greece to Ali Riza Effendi and Zubaydi Hanim. He attended Hafiz Mehmet Effendi's neighborhood school, but later transferred to Semsi Effendi School because his father thought he would have better educational opportunities. Ataturk enrolled in Salonika Junior High School for civil servants and after 1893, he transferred to a military junior high. When he was 12 years old, he was sent to a military school and then graduated from the War Academy of Istanbul with the rank of Staff Captain in 1905. His military reputation helped him rise to power and emerge as the leader of the Turkish Nationalist Movement, which was a position of great power. The purpose of the Nationalist Movement was to unite independent movements around the country into one voice. In 1911, he served against the Italians in Libya and then in the Balkans War from 1912 to 1913. When he was 35 years old in 1916, he was promoted to general and liberated two major provinces in eastern Turkey the same year. When Mustafa Kemal landed in Samsun on May 19, 1919 as the inspector of the army, the four-year Turkish National War of Independence began. The national government signed the Lausanne Peace Treaty with the Ottoman Empire, the British Empire, France, Italy, Japan, Greece, and Romania in July of 1923. With this treaty, the Allies recognized Turkish independence and sovereignty. The Turkish Nationalist Movement, which was led by Ataturk, formed a Grand National Assembly which abolished the Grand Sultanate of Turkey and declared Turkey a republic after the War of Independence on November 1, 1922. On October 29, 1923, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk was unanimously elected as the President of the Republic of Turkey and is credited with being the founder of the Republic of Turkey. Ataturk made many reforms in order to modernize the Republic of Turkey and they were later named Kemalism, which summed up Ataturk's principles in six fundamentals. The six fundamentals of Kemalism are Republicanism Populism Secularism Reformism, Nationalism, Statism. Ataturk thought that nationalism would not only make the country stronger economically, but socially as well. Ataturk launched government-funded programs to industrialize Turkey and to spur the economic growth. Under his leadership, many schools were built giving people the opportunity to have free education. Ataturk also gave women the right to vote in all elections and hold public office positions in 1934. This reform was a symbol of Muslim piety, and this ban made Muslims at the time in Turkey furious. When Ataturk banned it, this meant religion was no longer a big part of Turkish life, hence separation of church from state. The red hat reminded people of the caliphate, and they did not want to remember those times. Instead, men started wearing hats, and women stopped wearing veils. In regards to foreign policy, Ataturk had a policy of neutrality and wanted to avoid subversion at home and war with other countries. Ataturk abolished religious courts and created a new legal system based on European laws as opposed to the previous system based on the Islamic law code. Marriage was considered civil and not religious, and polygamy was abolished. The Arabic numerical system was abolished and replaced by the Indian numerical system. The 24-hour clock was adopted in place of a clock based on the hours from sunset. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk died from a coma induced by a liver ailment at age 57 on November 10th of 1938. His body was carried from Istanbul to Ankara where it was laid to rest. Portraits of Ataturk are interspersed around Turkey, which allow his memory to live on and to never be forgotten by future generations.